you want me to say it. Edged. And it's just fallen short, has it? Tough to see from a, the deep backward square position where we are. A bit of messy cricket happening from Australia. It's not working one way. They change it really quickly. So around the wicket he comes to Fazal. He's edged and gone. Second slip's taken it. Clean as a whistle. And Faz Fazal is gone. There can be lengthy delays. Glided down to third man. That'll be four. So softer hands. He actually meant that. That was an intentional shot from Akil Huatka, who's again looking comfortable at the crease. And off for a quick single. If he hits, this could be close. He has hit, and that's out. Well fielded. It always looked like it was going to be touch and go, and the direct hit is really good fielding. The last thing that the Indians needed was a run out there. Drives and gone. So he's edged it. Chad Sayers yet again gets the wicket. We just said it last over. He has the ability to find a way of getting a wicket. He's done it again. Whiteman makes no mistake. Mind you. Struck in the pad and there's a big appeal and he's gone. Jackson Bird has struck. Menace Pandey first ball has played forward. The Australians have gone up. And this is an unbelievable performance from the Australians. James Pattinson, perhaps Peter Siddle. Edge, and that's going to go down to the boundary for four. One of the more frustrating parts of being a fast bowler is finding the edge. You've got the three slips and gully in place, but the softer hands, and it's gone down for four runs. Driven, that's a beautiful shot through cover. Really nice shot. The skipper onto the front foot, and this is the sort of batting that we have become accustomed to with Naman Oja, not the... That's a direct quote from... C. Lynn is smashing all. Was a chance and a bit of barracking from C. Lynn and just backing his man in. That was almost to hand. They were still bowling to our gun batters. And bowled him. Well bowled. Hilton, Hilton Cartwright has been switched around ends. He's come on from the Crosby Road end. And what a crucial wicket that is. You do often see him with the smile on the face and fairly relaxed character. Really, He's really well liked, certainly amongst Victorian circles, but also around in the Australian first-class scene. He wraps up his second over, just the two from it, and that's going to wrap up the first session here at Allen Borderfield. So the table, tail of the tape today, Australia A with their captain, Joe Burns, won the toss, elected to bowl first, and it's been all Australia A since then. India A, five for 46, three slips in a gully. Great, Naman Oja. He struck on the pad and he's gone. So first ball after lunch. A wicket has fallen. He stares back down the wicket. Driven and driven well through point. That's a really nice shot. And we've got one. They're coming back for two. It's going to reach the boundary now. So that's four. Glory days because that was why we love cricket. He's gone the up and under shot and that's really well played. That's four. It was probably a little ahead of time. Advancing down the wicket and striking it beautifully through mid-off. That's four runs. That's a really nice shot from Hardik Pandya. Four openers at the top of the, the top of the order. And that's been struck beautifully through point. Won't have to run that. That's four. That'll race away to the boundary. So a little bit of room. going to be a draw. Struck lovely shot through point. Just caressed that through the offside. And that's four. Really nice shot. The half track has been blocked. He's down the wicket. That hasn't been blocked. That's been smashed. And that's four. Really good shot from Hardik Pandya. It's cut right to continue. He's whipped away. He's whipped fine. It's going to be a huge chase of fine leg. He's not going to get there. That's four. Trangers when he's had the opportunity to play. He's down the wicket and strikes that beautifully. That's a great shot. Over mid on. We said they'd push mid on back. They haven't pushed him back that far. And that's six. But more protection for Holland. So now goes for the lap sweep, and that's really clever batting. All the way down to the final league boundary. He won't reach the fence. He's going to come back for a third. He is. He's going to have to hurry up, and he does. That's a really good running from Jane Yardav. So three runs means Hardik Pandya reaches his 50, and that's a really good innings. Batted at seven and wasn't overly confident last week, but he's coming at eight today. And it looks really good. Hardy Pandit, that's a really well-made 50. Six for 46. 
and bowled him. There we go. So Joe Burns once again with the golden touch. He has brought Kane Richardson back on from the Crosby Road end. And a really good innings from Jane Yardav comes to an end. Just missing the dot. So that was funny six years ago. That's beautiful a beautiful shot. shot. What a really good shot. The Welcourt Carney just slightly over pitched. He's quickly onto the front foot and hits the boundary. Continue that hard work. Pandy is up a cut it and with the third man up, that's a really good shot. That's a couple of bounces into the fence. Cracking up laughing at the moment, probably. As long as you know they're laughing with you and not at you. And that's oh. going to be <laughs> T. So a really good session from India there. They've fought back. They were 5 for 46. Lost a wicket with the first ball after lunch. But since then, some really good batting from both Jan Yardav, who did lose his wicket through that second session, and Hardik Pandya, who remains 63, not out. Okay, takes over the range from Pete Hanscom. Flies that down to third man. And that's going to be frustrating for the bowlers, but four runs for the Indians, and... And he'll take that. Struck beautifully down the ground. That's a great shot. Pandy's really looking good here. That's four. That's not going to get cut off at Allen Borderfield. What a beautiful shot that is. But, um, troubled batsmen do get into on this ground. Struck that well as well. And that's going to be four more. Holland diving to his right. Couldn't get a, a mid on it. And that's hit the fence at pace as well. It's come off the bat and straight to Gully and he's gone. So Richo takes the wicket, turns around a wry smile to John Holland once again. It's depending who who is bowling. Oh, that's hit him. Has it hit him on the helmet or on the bat? Does it appeal? And the umpire says no. That's hit him on the lid. That guy wasn't going anywhere. We need to crack we need to question this Queensland kickball. That's a beautiful shot through cover. That's four. That's why he wanted the strike. <laughs> Keep some blokes interested for eleven overs. Nicked and gone. Bird takes his third. Oh, it's one ball off cake ball. <laughs> well, your, your timing's not great. There's been two balls in between, but that's okay. Oh. Well bowled from Jackson Bird. He's bowled. The short ball again has worked. We've said it over and over again. It is a wicket-taking delivery, whether it's part of a plan or whether it's the actual delivery itself. It doesn't seem to be... Rain. The, the lights on the scoreboard are really bright at the moment. It's an interesting decision at nine down, but you've got to protect the, the, the guys who are batting as well. Yeah, yeah, no, I've got safety is paramount. I'm all for that. Um, it obviously is quite dark out there. Some dark clouds coming over as well. So, so uh, nine for one sixty nine. You can see the dark clouds above the Maddie Hayden stand right there as we look towards the city.